All right, so in this job shadow, we're gonna be talking about getting coverage from different angles when you are shooting ads or films or whatever production you're on. We're gonna be talking about making sure we cover those angles that need to be covered in order to have enough different shots to tell the story properly. It's important to have these different angles because if you stay on one shot for too long, your audience is gonna start to realize that the shot is dragging out or they're going to become uninterested. So having these different angles, such as a master wide shot, an over the shoulder shot of character one and an over the shoulder shot of character two, in finding these different angles to tell your story, it's gonna pay off in the end because it is giving your audience more to look at although it might be the same scene, might be the same conversation, it is gonna give the audience a feeling like there's more going on and that they're actually involved in the story. All right, what's up guys? We're here with scene four of the Noka shoot. Um, this scene is obviously taking place in a hot tub. As you can see, we got all the lights set up, our backlight, our fill light here on Andrew's face, and our key light representing this big window over here. We're actually shooting at night, so we're gonna try to resemble like it's daytime. Um, and we got a mic over top here. So we're struggling a little bit with the mic placement. We only have one boom mic, so we're gonna put it in the middle of them. Hopefully we get some clean audio and uh, go from there. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the first shot on the slider here um, and go from there. So what you're about to see is the behind the scenes and then the actual shot of what I like to call the main shot or the master shot. Now this shot is something you're gonna start out with and it's going to be your hero shot for the entire scene or conversation and then the shots we're gonna go on to after that are going to be the coverage shots. So take a look at this master shot. It's gonna be a wide of both actors, and then we'll hop in to the coverage shots. Action. Pretty stoked about that party tomorrow night. Yes, sir. All the boys are gonna be there. Pretty stoked about that party tomorrow night. Yes, sir. All the boys are gonna be there. Okay, again, that was the master shot. It starts out, it begins to tell the story where we're at, we're in a hot tub, we have two characters, they're talking, and that just kind of sets the mood for the rest of the scene. Now we're gonna hop into our first covered shot, which is an over the shoulder shot of our first character. So we're gonna hop in this, you're again gonna see the behind the scenes, and then you are going to see the actual shot. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. Look at my uh, hands burning up here, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing, but my uh, hands are pruning up here, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so that was covered shot number one. Next cover shot we're gonna get is number two, which is another over the shoulder shot of our second character. So one thing to keep in mind when you're deciding what coverage shots to get is always go for the over the shoulder shot, whether that be in front of your characters or behind. These shots are super popular and the audience knows what to expect when they're getting them. And it's just a foolproof way to get different angles of a conversation. Maybe like 10, 10, 30. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. But uh, my hands are burning up here, so I'm gonna head out. Probably like 10, 10, 30. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. But uh, my hands are pruning up, so I'm gonna head out. All right, so we just got the opening scene, the talking scene. Austin and Andrew came up with a couple of cool ideas on the fly, so we added those in there. Added a little bit of humor, because the whole commercial is gonna be humorous, or gonna try to be. We're not. Uh, sketch comics by any means, but um, I think we got a funny bone in all of us. I hate that. I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> um, but no, we just, uh, we got the opening scene done and uh, I thought it was pretty good. So I'm um, gonna move on to the next scene where Andrew's actually getting out of the hot tub and uh, he's, gonna, he's gonna ask Austin about the bubbles, which is the whole, whole point of this scene. So we're gonna move into that and uh, I don't know, cut there. All right, we're gonna hop into the second part of this scene now. And this is where our first actor will get out of the hot tub and he's gonna to talk to our other actor. So one thing we wanna keep in mind when doing this is at first, let's decide how many angles we want. In this case, I decided two angles because it is short and sweet. So I wanted to get it done with quickly and two angles is enough just because it is a shorter ad. So once we've decided the number of angles, we are going to again, shoot character one and character two in two separate shots. So here is the first shot of character one talking to our actor and as you guys might have noticed we used character two as somewhat of a foreground for our character one shot just to give a little bit of depth and to let the audience know even it's subconsciously in their head that character two is still sitting in the hot tub and action You uh, 
want me to fire up those jets? You remember what happened to the third grade, man. No Ooh, yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I'll catch you tomorrow night at the party. Right on. Sounds good. Now we're gonna hop into angle number two, which is of character number two, and that is going to be of our character in the hot tub. So we're gonna hop over, flip sides, and make sure when you are filming these conversations that you're following the 180 degree rule, which if you don't know what that is, there's a lot of videos on it, but basically means your camera stays on the same side of your subject no matter how many times you flip angles. If you don't do this, it's gonna make it look like your characters are talking in the same direction, which throws your audience for a loop. So just make sure you keep this in mind when filming conversations. Ready and action. You uh, want me to fire up those jets? You know what happened in the third grade? No bubbles. You uh, want me to fire up those jets? You know what happened in the third grade? No bubbles. All right, that's a wrap on the hot tub scene. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Austin, for being a part of this. Um, they killed it, Austin's first time acting. Andrew's done a couple other projects, but you guys killed it and it was awesome. Andrew, Austin, thanks again. Anything you guys wanna say um, for the fans out there, for all my 365 subscribers? It was great. Awesome. Thanks for having me, Matt. That's a wrap. We'll, we'll get you in the next scene. The next job shadow we do is going to be talking about how we got the product shot at the end of this ad you're about to see. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you when we see you. Pretty stoked about that party tomorrow night. Yes, sir. All the boys are gonna be there. What time is showing up? Probably like 10, 10.30. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing. But my uh, hands are pruning up here, so I think I'm gonna get out of here. Right on, I'm gonna stay back a minute. You uh, want me to fire up those jets? You know what happened in the third grade? No bubbles. Ooh, yeah, you're right. Uh, well, I'll catch you tomorrow night at the party. Sounds good, brother. Introducing Noka, a non-carbonated spiked water. No bubbles isn't always a bad thing.